Hey, Reject Nation, it's Greg here. John. So, um, we're, we're about to film a, a completely different video, and Very. in the middle of it, um, John had mentioned to me about what happened with John Schnepp. I did not know about that. I was like back from the gym, so we were, I was like, oh, this other news just dropped, let's film it. And then I found out that John Schnepp had passed away. Yeah. And I'm not going to bullshit you guys into thinking that, like, we were yeah, best friends. Yeah, we were like buddies <laughs> yeah. with the guy, but I was a big fan. Mm -hmm. I did watch Collider Heroes every week, and I'm fortunate enough to have my the last time I ever spoke to him was, hey, I just want to let you know I'm a big fan of Collider Heroes. I watch you every single week. It was him and Steve Weintraub at the Upgrade mm -hmm. premiere, and it was just what I said to him. The fact of the matter is I've seen Schnepp like, countless times yeah. at Collider, yeah. um, at movie screenings, a couple of times at some premieres, and I, I was always so shy to talk to him. Yeah. It's it's the same, I, it, it was the same effect I had with Dan Merle at Screen Junkies. I've seen <laughs> Dan so many times and occasionally can hop into conversations with him, but usually I had to muster up a lot of courage just to do it. You've done so and, many things. <laughs> that I admire and respect, and yeah. I love watching you. I'm a genuine fan, and um, what it, what Schneff's uh, contribution to the community, to the, the geek the world geek overall. World, I mean, he was perfect at his job. Yeah, like he hosted Collider Heroes. He's done a lot of other things too. Um, oh yeah, he's directed stuff. I mean, he's he's done Metalocalypse. He's made documentaries. Yeah, he's done. He was always great at perspective. He was always great at looking at both sides of the argument and being an optimist too. Yeah. And if he was being kind of cynical about something, he knew how to address the counter perspective as well. Yeah, acknowledge it. He he was great at writing that middle ground. I I felt, and that's why I always love listening to him. He's totally. great with interviews. He just seemed like a, a real dude. Oh yeah, and, and, the, and real interested. Like one of my favorite things is uh, I I'm blanking on the name now, but his show where he would go to different comic book shops and talk to the owners and yeah, things like that. Yeah, that was like, a big one. That was and a big just show. the amount yeah. of interest and knowledge that he would espouse. Like you know, you, you, he's really one of those guys you see on screen. and You're like, ah oh, man, I wish I could just chum with you. You know? Yeah. And I, I've i seen him so many times. I've talked to him, like, maybe a small handful of times. And my <laughs> my biggest regret, and I was opening up with a friend about it this week when, when I heard he was on life support, was I wish I hadn't been such a pussy so many times. <laughs> yeah, right? Because yeah. it's like no one saw this coming. I mean, I don't, I mean I'm sure maybe there were people in his family who might have seen this coming with some health habits. I don't know. I, I really don't. Um, but yeah, on, this, on this side of the shocking. spectrum, I had no clue what was going to happen. Yeah, it was a double and, take kind of thing. It was like, I, what? I always wanted to just keep on conversing with the guy, but I would I would just get too shy. I'd get bogged in my head about things. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't mean to make it about me or something like that. Uh, I'm just saying like... Yeah, you just wish was, you'd had the opportunity yeah, to, to say a little my bit more. Yeah. biggest regret is that I wish I had more ongoing conversations with the guy... I'm just glad I got to pay him the one compliment I was I was that I meant, which is I do watch Collider Heroes every week. It does make and, those little moments precious because like I I never got to really spend time or speak that much with him, but every time I did bump into him, he was always super he was always friendly, nice, really and, sweet, and that was like, the biggest uh, reputation he had. Was yeah, no you didn't one feel ever like said were, he was yeah. a dick. <laughs> no one ever said he had a big ego. Yeah, you yeah, never feel just, like you're bumping into some lofty guy who's yeah. high above you. You know. Yeah, and it's like even though I would view him that way, when yeah. you, when you would talk with him, you're like, he's just a, he's just a dude, he's an enthusiastic, <laughs> he's, sweet guy, he's just a dude. <laughs> um, right now, there's a GoFundMe that his wife Holly Payne has set up. Uh, my condolences go out to you. And right now, they have a very expensive medical bill, and this is what the GoFundMe is going towards. So there's a link in the description box. There's a pinned comment to this as well. I I gotta tell you guys. Um, today's actually the anniversary of my dad's death. I was with my family bright and early in the morning. Love going to church that early, Mom. Appreciate 6 it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, 
Well, oh, actually, I missed the church service, but they, but they, oh. did, they didn't shout out my dad there, so I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> shouts out. <laughs> that's where you go when you make the mention of the Catholic Church. Yeah. It is a holy shout out. That's so I was like, is. all right, okay. But then I was with my family right after, um, oh. and uh, I, I was just I was Hank kicking it with my family. I see them again later tonight. And it's been a few years since my dad died, but I remember that when my dad died, the medical bills were so expensive because he had been in and out of the hospital for years. So the medical bills were in like high six figures. And I could not help but just feel pain for my mom. Like you, you lose your husband, the father of children your children and then suddenly you got this giant debt and then and you have to grieve simultaneously yeah it's like some kind of weird turbocharger yeah. for your pain so <laughs> just drawing it out and wringing you out you know i mean they've done pretty good on their goal so far they still got at the moment that we're filming this 41 and a half k uh, to yeah go. they still but... got a lot of money to go so any even if it's a minor contribution would help it all builds this is a quantity game of how many people are willing to participate and uh, contribute if a so, lot of people do a little you know it would really mean a lot i would love it if you guys can go uh go show some support um yeah we'll miss you john schnepp you were a true inspiration and a big contribution to how we conduct our world <laughs> so yeah. thank you yeah, <laughs> thank seriously. you for everything thank you and uh respect the privacy of the family too